Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra. Continuing my Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign, and we are about to investigate the abandoned hut. Um, this is what we got from the information from the uh, the axe lady, Svetlana. No, wait, Svetlana. Svetlana is Oleg's wife, right? And I, it has the path all the way. Oh, okay, so there's probably a path from here all the way to here. But we don't know that route, so it's taking the long way around. Let's just go here, because we do want to return the ring to Svetlana here. So I'm going to do this abandoned hut. And then we will go to Svetlana. And then maybe we'll go after Tartuccio. Okay, okay. Guardian of the Bloom. Hello. You are here, please follow me. Can't talk to her. Ooh. What do we get? Herbs. It just says herbs. It's not nothing. No unique herbs. They're just herbs. All right. Father, please. I looked for the herb you asked for. Do you forget the rules? You speak when I say. Three times. Damn, that's your dad? He's an asshole. Enough, I can't. Uh, uh, this is happening too fast, I can't really read this. Uh, events? Dialogue. There we go. Father, please. I looked for the herbs you asked for, there just weren't enough to... Silence. Did you forget the rules? You speak when I say. Nukra. Nukra. Youth. Disobedience leads to punishment, and and you have been have you have disobeyed twice, but father three times. What an asshole! What an absolute asshole! All right. So I don't know who those guys are. What do we find? Perception. All according to plan. Usually that means something purple popped up. Is it this one? Perception check. What did you find? I can't see it. it. It can't have been the box, can it? I was gonna click the box anyway. I hope it was the box. I mean, seeing as we got some like valuable stuff out of it. Oh, we got another potion of enlarged person. Give me that. Give me that. Go here. I need to get that spell. I need to get enlarged person spell. Is that a duck? It's a goose. Alright. Oh, you cannot stand against me. Ferocious wolves. Let's not engage that with me. We'll have um, let's have Valerie engage that Tear if we can. Apart. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This should do it. We've got four melee characters. Damn. Okay, this is very low level shit here. We can't skin them. In due time. Is this what you found? What's that? No, you found something else. Another Rostlandic coin. A well that was boarded up. Nugra's old notes. This is the dude that was torturing the other youth. In early spring, Willow's leaves are the same color as her eyes. His too. I barely hold myself from burning them out with acid. It is his fault. Despicable. Weak. If it was not for him, she would have, she would still be alive. Does not talk to me, looks away. Plan something. I know, I know. I have to gather forest herbs and make a hiding place. Hide my charms. He is a coward, but he can steal and run away. I will punch it out of him. Everything hurts. I can barely walk. How could he? How? He would never bring himself to confront me on his own. He says his name is now Stag Lord. Is this, is this Nukra the Staggler's dad? He says he will not let me die or let me go. He says I should not be calling him my son, like I ever did. He told me to pack my things. We are leaving soon. He now has his people and his own fortress. I'm hiding the charms in the, f in the herb cache. I probably should not. I will not be able to escape. He will not let me. Okay. 
So the stag lord has his own father captive, but the father was an asshole. I don't really want to rescue the dad. I mean, he's the dude... Let me guess. So the stag lord's mother died probably in childbirth, right? And so the father is blaming him for that? Or... Where have you been? I told you to prepare everything for the ritual. He's got the stag helmet on. You will never give me orders again. What? Well then, summer your power, or maybe you'd like to try the acid. I'm not your slave any longer. Damn, not your toy. Okay, so are they trying to humanize the stag lord a bit? I mean... Oh, he's kicking him <laughs> while he's down. Well... No, oh well. I won't kill you. Your powers will be of use to me. From now on, you do as I say. You speak when I say. Disobedience leads to punishment. <laughs> so he's be. torturing his dad like his dad tortured him. Alright. This is not the herb cache. Potion of Vanish. I don't know if I'm ever going to be using those. There's the Guardian. I have been waiting for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. Okay. It seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. There was a guy in my tribe. He kept walking around, listening to voices. After a while, they told him to jump off a cliff. <laughs> Be careful what you listen to. Um... I had a strange vision. A young man and an old druid. Druid. Okay, so the dad is the druid that makes the fog, right? So he's using his father's power to hide his fortress. Okay. So if I kill the dad or set him free, then we can stop the fog? Yes, yes. The soil, water, and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. They poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman, and has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. What comes of regret for a thing you cannot change? There is no time to be lost. We must do away with the fog quickly. Tell me what to do next. Search the area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. The herb cache. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers that shape the future. I don't think this is the time for this. Maybe we'll find out more later. Yeah, I'll just return later. Farewell. I will be waiting. She whispers. Okay. So where's the herb cache? Herb cache. It's a cool looking thing. Uh, edible moss. Another box. How Ooh. curious. Token of the Dryad. A well-grounded antiquities collector. Yeah, I'm finding a bunch of collectible things. I don't know who's going to buy them. I'm not finding any, like, equipment. I want to find better equipment. Okay? Just, like, basic shit. I found something oh, okay. Nugra's Lost Note. I went to the old temple of the elk. That's the thing that the priest was looking for, right? Or was he a druid? No, he was a priest. He said he was a priest, didn't he? Uh, wicked, gloomy place, just like my soul. It used to sh it used to shine once, and it, it is hollow and horrible now. Did he spy on me? Maybe I should lock him up. No, let him be. What can he do, the useless coward? Just whimper and hide. All right. You come again. Did you find something? I found the druid's notes. They mention a temple of the elk. Can this help us? An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. Oh, okay. 
The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You will need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. I have a clear goal now. I'll continue my journey. Okay, so I guess we don't have to kill the father. We just have to go to the temple and, like, uh, clear I that... I need inspiration. Clear that place. They go down! It's one yeah! wolf? I'm not popping the bard thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this the herb cache? It's empty. What is this stuff on the ground, though? I can loot the wolf as well. And I can try to skin it. Tenderloin. My wolf. The ground near the chest is covered with culinary herbs. It dried out long ago. So that's it. That's it. Okay, so the, the hut gave us basically the, the location of the temple, I imagine. And it gave us a bit of a backstory on the stag lord and his dad. He, so he's got a lot of daddy issues. So, Temple of the Elk. I kind of want to go back to this place for the ring. Uh, but then again, I'm not that close to leveling up. And then we got Tartushi over here in Old Sycamore. Um... I kind of want to go back. Maybe we can also talk to the priest. The priest said he was going back here. Now that I know where the temple is, maybe he can help us with that? Please tell me this is the right way. No, no, no. Oh, I can't avoid that. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be another... What the fuck is this? Technic League Mage. A group of well-armed fighters approaches. One of them raises their voice, pointing at you. Hey, you, stop right there. Kalana, look at this one. Will he do? This one, I suppose. But I don't like his snout. He's, she studies your companions, carefully but nonchalantly, as if examining goods at the market. Listen, you tramps, we're from the Technic League. Our slave died and we need a replacement. One of you will be coming with us. The rest of you are free to go. I advise against resistance. It would be a quick trick to kill every one of you. Choose now the one that you will give. You want me to give up one of my dudes? No. Lawful good. No, neg no negotiations with slavers. Big mistake. I have to fight them? So we have got a swordsman, swordsman, archer, mage, and then this... What is she casting? Okay, so... Do destruction. Do this. Do this. If you could charge that dude... Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bless... Valerie, try to engage these dudes if you can. Can we CC her? No, no, no. Pop this first. So she ran to this guy. He's almost dead. Good job. Okay, so we were able to bless. We've got the bard thing here. Try to CC this. I'm gonna go help the front line here. Amiri is clearing out the mage. And you got a will save. Hideous laughter. She succeeded. So difficulty for the um, hideous laughter is 14. She's got a modifier of 4, so she only needed to roll a 10. I think I'm going to try again. I might be able to CC their leader. Okay. Cause fear. Can you try and do this? You're summoning wolves. Oh, that's not good. Uh, pop a healing potion. Shit. Did you not pop a healing potion? Oh, you're taking a lot of damage here, lady. And we don't have any more healing potions because I've used them all up. Okay. Okay, we were able to CC this one. It seems this hit this time around. So use your last remaining spell to heal Valerie. I will heal as well. Why are healing? 
What? What? No! There's no sense in all of us dying. Lay down your arms. I will go with them. Return for me in force. Are you kidding me? I have to let one of them, one of my dudes go? Maybe this is a, an overpowered fight. And I'm supposed to do this and then I'm supposed to like save my companion? I don't like it. I surrender. We surrender for now, but you'll not get away with this. That's the spirit. Having picked up your barely breathing companion. She's on the floor laughing. <laughs> the technically fighters vanish. So they took Valerie from me. Hands of the Technic League. Companion quests. We were attacked by a group from the Technic League, led by a woman named Kalana. We fought like lions, but we were outmatched. The scoundrels left us to lick our wounds, but only after taking one of our companions as a slave. This, of course, will not be tolerated. We'll find their camp, free our companion, and kick their tails all the way back to Nemeria. So I've lost a companion now. No mistakes. That's that's pretty annoying. Let's go ahead and heal Amiri. So she's like a summoner. She kept summoning wolves. And you just left the archer behind. I don't like this at all. All according to plan. Is there any loot in this horrible place? So the Technic League are a bunch of slavers. Um I had no idea there were slavers here. Ooh. The insidious henchmen of the ominous Technic League have disappeared into the thick wilderness of the mysterious Stolen Lands, but not for long. Soon we'd be upon them. First, though, we'd have to pick up their trail. To do that, we... Knowledge Nature, Knowledge World, and Perception. So Perception is... We only need to roll a 5. This, I would need to roll a 7. Yeah, we'll go with Perception. Search for signs or trails that our abducted companion could have left for us. So we succeeded. Hooray for Spycraft. Not far from the abduction site, we found a familiar token our companion must have dropped. And a little further along, a scrap of cloth, obviously torn off intentionally. Now, knowing which direction to search, we... Well, I'm going for this. I need a 7. Try to find anyone who could have seen these despicable people. We failed. Sadly, the wild woods of the Stolen Lands are not like the city streets, where you can talk to passers-by. Go to the tavern, crash in the drunkards, and order a beer. In the whole area, we m only met a single mushroom gatherer, who seemed suspicious that we were unarmed, turned around, and ran. No one was going to help us, so we, without searching for other ways to s simplify our work, we followed the trail of the technical league. And we failed. But we still got the league. Oh, but we got tired. We searched for so long that I heard, I heard the cue that they're tired. As... I have written before, the Stolen Lands are a mystery covered in a thicket. And not just any thicket, but an especially dense one. The henchmen of the ominous Technic League, who as we recall are insidious, use this peculiarity of the landscape to cover their trail. We wandered in the forest for a long time, soaked our feet in swamp, and got scratched over by wild raspberry. But at last we found their camp. Okay. So we still found their camp. Do we try to attack them? I'm hungry. When we stop. So the camp is over here. Ah, uh, we need to camp. We need to camp right now. Uh, you were good at hunting, weren't you? But oh, we lost Valerie. Right. She was doing like a special role because I didn't have anything else to put her in. Can I put you here, both of you, in hunting to speed it up? Because it usually takes you hours. But maybe we should have a guard. Ah, it's fine. Let's do this. And begin resting. Please don't take too long. Huh. Okay. Let's go back to here. What is this? Moist Basin. A small lowland with unique conditions for growing medicinal plants and herbs. Kingdom resource, medicinal herbs. Okay, so I imagine this is something we unlock once we have a kingdom. 
All right, so I found some medicinal herbs. Okay, so we have a path now. And it looks like there's only one way across the river. Okay. But let's go here and return Svetlana's ring. If your kingdom is destroyed, the game will be over. Really? Your kingdom can get destroyed? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Follow my lead. But how am I supposed to fight those dudes? If I have to fight that chick again. She was really strong. What's going on? Listen, there is... Well, since you dispatched the bandit with such skill, maybe you can help us with another problem. There's a feral swine living here in the woods. Not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar. As big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tusk Gutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Vekul Benzin found his lair and went to kill the beast, but came back with one leg. He put a bounty on the boar's head... But it looks like there aren't any heroes around here bold enough to claim it. Maybe you will rid us of this monster. Ooh, hey, we're better than the local wussies, right? Wanna bet I can chop off this tusk gutter snout with a single swing? Come on, let's find out. Uh, Sure. I mean, there's a bounty on it. Alright, let's go kill this tusk gutter. Right. That's the way I like it. Let's do this. So we have a lair... I don't, I, I'd rather want to have a big party for that, but okay. So Svetlana is inside. In time. Time's not waiting. We have a visitor, Yod Yakavken, a venerable priest. Oh, right, so he is where? He's over there. Hello, priest, I found your temple. How may I serve you? I need the help of a cleric. Oh, that's just a shop. Okay, offer. I'll sell my shit to you. Uh huh. Let's sell the heavy crossbow. Okay. Keep the rest. Uh deal. So how may I serve you? What services do you offer? I can sell you various divine spell scrolls. They're quite useful, even if you don't have anyone in your party who can read them. While you're in this settlement, or indeed any place with a cleric willing to help, you need only open your bag and choose the scroll you wish to cast. I'll be happy to read it for you. However, take care out there in the wilderness. A scroll is useless without someone who can read it. To use a scroll on your journey, you need a spellcaster whose magical training covers such spells or someone skilled in magical devices. He's just teaching me how to use scrolls? Um... Tell me about the visions that led you to the Temple of the Elf. That's why I'm here. I've heard of the Temple of the Elk from a local nymph. She believes a mad druid who served the Stag Lord once performs, performed his rituals there. It seems that's where this the magic mist comes from. To defile the ancient shrine of Erastil and with such unnatural magic. How could it be that this druid wasn't completely exhausted? What do you want from me? Find the Temple of the Elk. I've pieced together its location from what I can remember of my visions. I have a rough idea of where to look for the sanctuary, somewhere in the North Narl Marshes. However, I don't possess the strength to walk this path myself. Do not reject my plea, good traveler, and I'll repay you as best I can. In these dark times, people rarely help each other without compensation. May Arastil forgive us all. But I am sure my healing abilities will be useful to you. So he does nothing? How may I serve you? I can't tell him that I found it. I don't really want to read this. I'm going to go That's return the ring. Uh-huh. Uh, there we go, Svetlana. Here's your ring, Svetlana. Kressel gave it to me. I even managed to convince her not to fight me. She sighs bitterly. I suppose I should tell you the truth about her. Kressel wasn't her real name. Her real name was Arena before all this. She was the daughter of my mother and her second husband, my half-sister. I can't help but feel like everything that happened to her was my fault. She always had a wildness to her. She'd wander the streets hanging out with a bad crowd. <laughs> okay. Until the day she passed mother... Until the day she passed, Mother complained about Arena constantly. Back then, it was just a cruel 
It was just cruel games and strange escapades. She never really hurt anyone back in Resnov. Her father didn't live much longer than our mother, so I decided to try and help Irina. I brought her here to the Stolen Lands, though Oleg was against it. And once here, she immediately fell under the Stag Lord's influence. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumors from local hunters and bandits were enough to win her over. She would tell us how he was a real leader, unlike Restov's softies. Eventually, she ran away, only to return under a new name with a pack of thugs to collect taxes from us. What's worse, she participated in the torture and execution of prisoners alongside the Stag Lord's minions. So she's not innocent. I don't know if there's any way to set her back on the right path. I think that's kind of too late. But I'm grateful for your kindness. Perhaps there's still hope. For the sake of my mother's memory, I like to believe that. Ooh, we got 10 camping supplies and rations. Okay. So we got some rations out of the deal. I thought it was going to get like experience or money. But I suppose 10 camping supplies. You don't have to hunt. I'm going to use those supplies. So we're good. I want to take a look at the uh, the camp because I want to get Valerie back. I need my I need my tank. I need my tank. Yeah, I'm still not picking any of that up. So we're down to four. Okay, so we basically swapped a me uh, Valerie for Yefo. So we have to go here. Uh, can I go down here? I'll try to avoid. Uh, I failed to sneak past them. Oh, yay! I don't have a tank. I don't want to do Enemy this. Approaching. It's the same fucking tigers as before? Is this place just full of tigers? <laughs> Damn! Damn! Okay, we didn't even get anything out of that. They just got butchered. All right, let's get out of here. All according to plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just randomly gonna get these uh, tiger attacks. Is there gonna be like a, a a mother tiger that I have to kill to stop them spawning or something? Go left. Oh, old oak. A great old tree dominates this area, rising from the remains of the waterlogged pine forest. I don't want to go there. I don't know what this what this place is. I tire. There's only one tired. I kind of want to rest when I'm closer. No, no, I don't want to enter it. I'm going to go across. I guess I'll go here. And then down. Avoid. Okay, evade. Thank you. Go down. Would be nice okay, let's go ahead and rest. Begin resting. Two hours. So with two of them, it doesn't take any time at all. And I fucked up the meal. Okay. Let's go... Technic League Encampment. Ah, uh, wait, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. So, we wanna get Valerie and get the fuck out of there. Right? Okay, so we're in the bottom right corner. And there's a bunny. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, in due time. In due time. Oh. So it's a very really small map. Okay. What do we have up here? <sighs> Follow my lead. Oh, there they are. Kala, go out for a hunt and bring back plenty of meat. Uh, I don't wanna... Oh, she's here. The Kala now, she's here. Uh, maybe we should just attack? Oh, so this is like a ravine. Okay, so we have to go... So the camp is here. And I saw Kalana, or at least heard her speak. If we can wipe out some of the weaker dudes before we get to her, that would be nice. Ooh, that's an archer. Get away, get away, get away. I'm going to quick save again. That's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Submit. Okay. Bless. 
I'm going to go ahead and bless. We'll do this. We'll do this. Uh huh. Get closer, get closer, and then pop a bless. Okay. Yeah, Fall, I hope you can handle this. Okay, why are you shooting Lindsay? Ooh, attack of opportunity. There's more people here. Survive. I always survive. Jesus Christ, Amiri. What the actual fuck? I'm gonna pop hideous laughter. Maybe I can like get her on the ground or something. We'll say. Are you kidding me? Okay, we gotta we gotta load. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to buff up before we do this. So, I don't wanna buff during the fight. I wanna do it like as we go. Ah, uh, before we go. This is Vanish. Restoration. Remove blindness. Okay. You had some scrolls, didn't you? I've got a blessed scroll. Uh, the scroll of Bane. Valerie had one of those potions, didn't she? Uh, raise dead. Protection from chaos. I don't even know if that's going to work. No idea. Ready but I'm going to go ahead and do a bless. Listening. Okay. Well. Done with waiting. Go ahead and pop your enlarged potion. Enlarged person. I am prepared. Unworthy. Okay. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. Ooh. Now we butchered her. Just a random good roll. Okay, free her. Let's get Valerie on our side. The archer fucked off. Let's free you as well. Can you make an epic Ooh. Valerie, you're kind of hurt. And you're also blind? Blindness. I have a thing for that. Uh, let's see, equip this. Go ahead and heal. I just get butchered. Octavia. Or Rego something. And there's more prisoners. We killed her! Nice. Okay. Okay, Kalina drops her weapon and raises her hands, which are covered in blood. Mercy, don't kill me. Uh, the half-orc bears his fangs. That is how you talk now, wretch? I wanted to do this for so long. He casts a spell on his outstretched palm, and sparks begin to dance upon it. Uh, the half-elf puts her hands on his shoulder. Regonger? Regonger. Come now, let, let her go. It's one thing to kill her in battle, but executing her unarmed? Why spoil the joy of being free? Octavia, are you out of your mind? This filth is from the Technic League. By her own hand, she enchained us. And you want to forgive her? Do you think she'll thank you? Ha, she'll just gather another band and try to catch us again. Um, well, before I decide her fate, I want to ask some questions. I will tell you everything, I know. I will tell you everything. I know much. You will see. I'm more used to you alive than dead. Is it normal for the Technic League to grab random people from the road to enslave them? The Technic League is so strong because it is never ashamed of taking what it needs. Whatever the law may say. We were missing a slave. We underestimated you. That was a mistake. Of course, I apologize. What are you doing in this part of the world? I was sent by Maestro Janusz. He is a very important person and a mighty wizard. Who taught these two ungrateful slaves everything they know. He will be furious to find out they are free and will certainly find the one who stole the Technic League's property. So she has a master, Janusz. Believe me, he does not need for he does not need me for that. Whether you kill me or not, he will find you in no time. You say this ma magistro guy of yours will find us anyway? Then I guess we don't get anything out of sparing you. She's got a point. 
You best not anger the maestro. If you kill me, he'll be furious. Ooh, I'm so scared, you know? I actually like getting slavers and other assholes angry with me. Then I get to cut them to pieces. <laughs> I like Amiri. I like it. Tell me about the Technic League. It's, a, it's an ancient alliance of wizards and scholars of the Numerian wastelands. And its technologies... Oh, it's a, a scholars of the Numerian wasteland and its technologies. We are the mightiest organization in the whole of Numeria. We possess powers that the uninitiated could only dream of. And our agents are everywhere, not just in Numeria. Believe me, these are not people you want as enemies. Sounds promising. Only cowards with no honor reckon sheer power a good reason for an alliance. Jethel rises her eyebrows, but doesn't grace Valerie with an answer. Why did you have these two in chains? Because we own them. The Technic League spent vast sums of money on these two. We nurtured them, fed and treated them, even taught them magic for many years. They cost us a fortune and we're not going to just set them free. Whatever your local customs say, we are fully in our rights. Well, fuck off. Listen to me. Do not make any hasty decisions. I am an important person in the Technic League. I have connections. You will benefit from such an ally. You see now what a slime ball she is? Step aside, let me fry her. Ah, so she is the epitome of evil, unable to repent. In the name of Iomade, I'll execute her myself. Neutral good. No, she has to die. She's a slaver. So, like, all of these end up her dying. The only way she does not die is if I go neutral good. No, no, I want to execute her. She is the epitome of evil, unable to repent. In the name of Iomedi, Iomedi, yeah, I don't even know. I'll execute her myself. Fine, fine. The victor is always right. Ooh. <laughs> I'm running towards her. And now I hit. I didn't mean to spoil the victory, but on the other hand, she deserved it. Ha ha ha, we're free. I can't believe it. Free as the birds in the sky. Phew. So he's really excited. Okay, so they're free. Thank you. You've no idea how long we've tried to escape the Technic League. This is a miracle. Uh, who are you? Ragongar and this is Octavia. The rotten Numerian held us as slaves. But we are no mere scavengers. You see the crowd they had guarding us? It's because we use magic. And I'm not bad with a blade if it comes to that. I would really like some magicians in my party. They're all right. We could use them on our team. Yeah, you're good fighters. Do you want to join my group? Of course, Octavia. What do you say? I would be happy to join you. Really? Just like that? I kind of want her gone. She's a liability. Uh, I don't even know what you are, dude. Uh, so I do want my tank. I got DPS character, a frontliner. I got a bard? I don't even know what you are. What class are you? But I guess I can pick once I go back to the, uh, the trading post. So he has magic. So does she. He said he had a... A blade. Yeah, he's like a melee wizard? That does not sound intriguing to me. She had a bow, I think. I'm gonna start with her for now. I won't let you, down. you won't let me down. Good. So what the fuck are you? You're a rogue and a wizard. Okay. Rogue and a wizard. So an actual wizard. That means I can actually give you... Uh, I had a thing here. This one. And this should give you armor? Yeah, 14 to 15. Beautiful! And you have what? A short bow. Okay. You can't use my long bow then. And we got a rapier? Okay, let's gather everybody up. We've got some more people here. I guess they're just normal slaves then? Why is Lindsay doing it? Freedom, freedom. Okay, they're running. 
uh, we got a plus one chain shirt, I imagine. And then a book. She had... Ooh, a helmet. Light crossbow, no. Wand of Expedious Retreat. Okay. And another a scroll of it. Okay. I'm going to take it the Masterwork Longbow. That, it's worth cash. This thing used to be a dude. Uh, no. Done and done. Ooh, food supplies. I suppose that makes sense. This is a camp. They should have food supplies. Chocolate. Masterwork Longbow. They're worth money. Uh, we take plan. this, dude. Just a regular sword and a heavy shield. No, fuck that. And scroll of Bane. Reduce person. Plus two to dexterity. With a plus two and uh, minus two penalty to strength. So it's the opposite of enlarged person. So that's good for a dex character. I did as you asked. Shining shell, okay. Okay, so we actually have a party now. We have seven people. Suddenly. We just got two casters. I want to figure out what he is, though. Regongar. A half-orc. Something, something. Maybe he's just a rogue wizard as well? That would be kind of boring. If they're both the same class, that's very, very boring. But is the technically thing done, then? Yeah, it says done. Prove your worth. Uh, help Amiri... Killed Tus okay, so this is a companion quest, so we were able to get two companions from this. Okay. I kind of just want to go that is not far. into the open world and then camp. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. We have been a bit over. So we have two new companions. Uh, Octavia and Ragongar. I don't know what Ragongar is, but she is a rogue and a wizard. Which is interesting. And she's a half-elf. Uh, I think I'll go over all of this later. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. But, until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.